In this lesson on Euclidean geometry, we are going to do some more similarity theorem. Sometimes the first question is already a ratio that you need to prove. So we skip the question where we tell you to prove two triangles similar. If this happens, you need to find the two triangles to prove similar yourself. Now for that, you can either look at the left and the right of the equation and see if you can find two triangles that form there or you can look at the top and the bottom and see if you can find two triangles there. Now if we start with the top and the bottom we will see that at the top we have A, B, C and D and at the bottom we have B and C. So four letters and two letters and that will not form triangles. So next up, we can then look at the left and the right. And if we look at the left and the right, the left will form A, B and C, and the right C, D and B. These are three letters, so all we need to do then is go and look on the specific picture and see if those three letters do form a triangle. So let's have a look at an example. In the sketch, AP is a tangent to the circle at P, and we are given that PN is parallel to SR. The first question immediately skips to proving a ratio. So we need to find our two triangles. If we start by looking on the left and the right, we will find four letters P, S, Q and R on the left, and S, T and R on the right. So on the left we have four letters not forming a triangle, so this will not work. So our next option is then to look at the top and the bottom. And at the top we have the letters P, S and T. And at the bottom Q, R and T. And now we need to see whether these letters form triangles in our sketch. So P, S and T does form a triangle in our sketch and QRT also forms a triangle in our sketch. So now we know where to start and that is by proving these two triangles similar. So I'm going to start saying that we are going to work in triangle PST and triangle QRT and to prove them similar, we need three pairs of corresponding angles that are equal. So I'm going to start off saying that T1 and T3 are equal. And T1 and T3 are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. Next, we can say that angle P2 is equal to angle Q1 because they are both formed from the same arc SR. So P2 will be equal to Q1 and the reason angles in the same circle segment. And for my third pair of angles we can use the same reason to say that S2 is equal to R1 or we can use interior angles of a triangle because the angles still need to add up to 180 degrees. And now we can make the conclusion that these two triangles are now similar. And I'm going to write the correct order by using it as I just wrote it down. TPS will be similar to TQR. And my reason, angle, angle, angle. From here, I now need to find my ratio so that I can prove what was asked. So now I can say that TP and TQ form a ratio that will be the same as PSQR and that will also be the same as TS and TR. My reason for that, similar triangles. And now I just need to finalize this by finding the two of the three options that form the question. So I have PS and QR and I have TS or ST and TR. 
So my final step is to write down the two correct parts of that proportion. And then I've proven what they've asked. The next question you will see that they are asking us to prove a product. That means we need to start by working backwards with cross multiplication to see what the two ratios were and then use those ratios to determine which two triangles we need to prove similar. It is important to mention that this is only your planning or what you want to prove. Otherwise, it will look like you are accepting something that you still need to prove. So I'm going to start off by expanding the left to AP multiplied by AP. And then I'm going to reverse the cross multiplication. So I'm going to divide on the right with one of the APs and divide on the left with the AS. From here, I now need to find my two triangles that I need to prove similar. So on the left, I have A P S three letters. And on the right, I have A R P also three letters. And now we need to see whether these three letters form triangles on my picture. And APS does form a triangle. The second one, ARP, also forms a triangle. And now that my planning is done, I know where to start. And that is by proving these two triangles similar. So in these two triangles, A is a common angle. So A will be equal to A because it's a common angle. And then we need to use some grade 11 geometry and realize that the angle between the tangent and the chord is angle P1, and that will be equal to the angle in the opposite circle segment. So P1 will be equal to R2 and my reason tangent chord theorem. And then the last pair of angles, I once again can accept because of interior angles of a triangle. So S1 will be equal to P1 and 2. And my reason, interior angles of a triangle. And now we can make the conclusion that triangle APS is similar to triangle ARP and my reason, angle, angle, angle. Now I need to go and find the correct ratios to get to my product that I need to prove. So when I write down my ratio, the first two letters, AP and AR, will form the same ratio as the last two letters, PS and RP, and the same as the first and last, AS and AP. And my reason? Because they are similar triangles. Now I need to go back and focus on my planning and the letters that I need in my two ratios. So it's AP, AS, AR and AP. So when I now only use these two ratios, AP over AR is equal to AS over AP, all I need to do now is cross multiply to get AP squared equal to AS times AR.